Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. It is your brother Jehoshaphat and we are back with our Monday topics for today. What is good to my family out there? What is good to all my brothers? What's good to all my sisters out there in the world? It's your brother Jehoshaphat and we are back this Monday. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I hope you took time to be with your father. I hope you took time to be at peace. I hope you took time to get that good word up in you to just settle, settle that good word upon you so you can live on it. Because you know what your brother Jehoshaphat, I always tell you, it's good to take as much word as you possibly can, but it comes a point to where you're going to have to implement it. Now you're going to have to act, family. Okay, family, with everything that we are facing this week, I want you to keep it on the forefront of your mind that God will be testing all of us this week, family. He's going to be testing us, family. And I don't know what your tests are. I don't know what you'll be facing, but he prepares us for all of these things. If we only hearken to his word, if we only listening in, family, if we listening in, we can know what's going down. But so many different people, family, they think it's, they think it's a game. I told y'all last week, some people, when God be talking to them, it goes in their ear. They be like, ooh, ooh, that's good. It be tingling in their ear. Ooh, that's good, God. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, give me more. Give me more. Three minutes later, family, done went out their damn ear. Done went out their brain. They, it, you can't blame the devil for that. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You got to meditate on God's word. You cannot blame the devil for that. It went straight up in there. And it was, ooh, ooh, God. Ooh, good for real. Bless me. Bless me. Went straight out their damn ear, didn't remember nothing that God told them, family. It's a damn shame. That's why when he be telling me stuff, I'd be like, for real, father? You gonna do that for me? But I know, you know what I'm saying? I know what he gonna promise. I know what he 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 already promised all of us. When he comes to me, all I have to do is stay focused on his word and the promises there. I'm not trying to doubt father no more in our life. And I'm just like a man like the many of my brothers out there. It's something that we have to do and act and we have to try. It takes work to believe in your God, family. Did you, did you hear all the stuff I told you last week? Do you think I'm playing with you? Family, family, family. Do you remember all the stuff your brother told you last week? I'm not playing with you. Okay, now check this out, family. Like, you get to see my, my mug today. I was trying to hide today, but God said, I want you to show yourself today. If you don't show yourself all week, I want you to show your face today. And I'm just being obedient. If, it, if I had it up to my own will, I'd be hiding in the back. You know your brother, I'd be chilling all in the back. Just chilling, 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 chilling. I put up my little picture and then I do the show and then I'm gone, family. I'm gone, family. But I don't want to run out of time here. Peace and blessings be upon you all. All glory given to the most high Yah for he is worthy, for he is righteous, for he is just. And his word is true. And his word is true. Blessed be our father name in Yahshua, precious name, for he is our father, the creators of the heavens and the earth and everything that man knows of. Family. Okay, yeah, I, I want to go and I, I got my sanctioned time in. Oh, snap. This said we got 24 minutes, family. I cleared up in the window for I can have a full hour, family. I cleared the window up, but you see how this stuff is, family. I'm not going to rush through this. Huh? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you a disservice. Even if I'm able to get through it in this amount of time, which I don't think so, family. I just don't think so. So I promise you this. Whatever I don't finish now, I promise that later on tonight, when I'm finished doing what, what I asked the most high that I had to put my mind and my focus on, I will get back on the other messages. I promise you. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't, I don't think so. It's possible, family. I really don't. And y'all remember, I, I'm coming back from... I just gave y'all a show, family. That was one o'clock in the morning. That's still today, family. You got that show earlier this morning. Time I didn't even go to bed till like two o'clock in the morning last night. Y'all was on the y'all was on the uh the late night with your brother the fat boy fish. Y'all was on the burning of the midnight oil with y'all brother last night. Okay, let me let me focus this real quick. Give me a second, fam. Give me a second. Let me get this in order real quick. Cause like 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 okay like these two papers right here I just put them right here family I don't even think we'll be able to finish all of that I don't think so but these two papers right here we gonna we gonna get this family at least one page at least one of these pages we gonna be able to get all the way through it I think I won't make no promises family I already put up the other two pages and I promise you after I'm finished doing what I gotta do tonight I'm gonna get all over that and it won't take that long it will not family it will not and God will give me the power. He will give me the strength, family. So 
since I only got three hours worth of sleep last night. Because after I downloaded the last show, it was like two o'clock in the morning. I had to give me some energy drinks this morning, Tom, because I only slept. I'm up at 5.30, so I only got three hours, of, probably three hours and a half worth of sleep last night. You know what I'm saying? This is your brother right here. It's the beginning of the, the week. I'm wound up, family. I got so much I got to do, family. I don't see why people just be sitting there laying on the damn couch. It's a damn shame. How you going to be 40 years old, still stand in your, in your grandma's house? You all on the couch and stuff. Family, you just slayed out. Family, you can get up today. I'm praying for you, family. I'm praying for all my homeboys that's still out there in that life. I'm praying for all my brothers that are throwing away their life at this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Come make, you, make sure you get some. I'm praying for y'all, though, family. Especially for all my brothers that was in my position. How I was in my younger years and I was throwing away my life to that gang stuff. I'm praying for you, family. I'm praying that God actually gives you a way out no differently than he gave me, family. And for all my brothers out there who throwing their life away being a couch bum on the damn couch, I'm praying for you too, brother. I'm praying that God put it in you to get off that damn couch, take life by his arms, and go do something with it, family. Run it, family. Run it. Yeah, I know you don't want to be on that damn couch till you're 55 years old. If you don't get up right now, it's going to happen, family. Potato bugs growing all in your ears and your nose, family. You just letting your, sitting on that couch, letting your life pass you by. Being in that gang, brother, just letting your whole life just pass you by. They ain't doing shit for you. It ain't doing not a damn thing for you, brother. So your brother, I'm going to say something. I got to pray for you. I love you. Y'all my people. That's my job. And any other black man who say it's not our, our job, they a damn lie. And they ain't got no love for themselves. And they definitely ain't got no love for their people. Okay, now. So many people, so many people. Okay, let me get this in the good dark so I can see it. Okay, now, so many people ask God for things, but they don't receive because they have no faith or they wait for so, so long that they lose their faith. Thing, they lose their faith in the things. And so faith, you must believe in whatever you ask for. The Father you got to believe, family. You got to believe that you actually going to get it, that you actually receive it, that you actually obtaining these things, family. How, how stupid would I look to ask God for something and I can't even see for my own damn self? That's how some people is. Family. They ask, but they faith ain't there. And if they faith ain't in there, you ain't going to get it, family. Don't kid yourself. We're not going to play games up over here with God's word. Okay, okay, let's go back. Ask for the Father. No, we was at the top of that. But they... So faith, you must believe in whatever you ask the father for. So many people, they sin, but they still be asking God for blessings. Why, they, why, they, why do they do that, family? They, they be up here sinning. They know they're giving in to their sin. They know they be living a sin-filled life with all that sin evil, family. All the carnage of their bad behaviors and all of the wickedness that they do with the audacity of their heart through their own spirit, family. They do these things. And... They still ask God to bless them, family. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine going up, punching somebody in the eye, and then asking them, oh, can you send me a present? Because that's what I, I don't understand why people don't understand. Your sin, the only way that you can get out of that is blood. God want to see some blood. God wants to see somebody die. You don't have no vial of Jesus' blood in your pocket that you can walk up to the Most High and be like, okay, God, I did this much sinning today. Here goes a quart of Jesus' blood. You don't have that. So why do people act like God is, is playing with them, family? The only thing that can please God is some blood. And you ain't got Jesus' blood. You don't have it. You know what I'm saying? So why is they sinning and still asking God for the blessing? This is how stupid some people is. They sinning. I'm not saying that they all evil people, family. I'm not saying that they horrible people. I'm not saying that they the dastardly and they deserve to be dropped in the pit. They are regular people. But what I'm saying here today is they be sinning and they same sin. God does not even look at them. He's not. As soon as, as soon as they start sinning, God ain't even hearing it no more. He closing his ears off. He's doing all of that. So I don't understand. If you're going to ask God for something, don't be sinning. The other people look at them. They ask God. They have no faith, family. They have no, they can, you can ask God a thousand times. You can ask him a million times. If you don't have no faith behind that action, how is he going to put that in your, in your, in your future? How is he going to bring that to, to forecome family? How can he do that family? You not even putting your faith. Okay. Okay. I'll leave it alone. Okay. Okay. Let's keep reading family. Okay. 
People be asking God for a blessing, but they don't even understand that when, when we sin, God turns his back on us. He does, family. He does. Okay, he turns his back on us. So there is no way he can hear them because he does not even want to be reminded of their sin evil. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this, family. Let's say, for instance, that God was listening to him. God ain't going to want to hear that because he's going to be reminded of the sin that they keep on doing. So he is not going to be listening to nothing I'm saying. If I'm sitting up over here sinning, God will turn his back on me. God will close his ears off for me. And why would I think my father would want to be reminded of the sin that I'm doing, even though I'm asking the most high for a blessing? It is a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame. But this is the people that you know. This is your friends, your associates. All the people that's wrapped up in your life, family, people that you know, this is what they're doing to your God, our God. This is what they're doing. I'm going to get a blessing. I'm going to get a blessing. I don't want to stop sinning. I don't want to stop sinning. I want a blessing. I want a blessing. I can't stop sinning. No, I just can't stop sinning, Lord. I can't stop sinning, Jesus. But I want that blessing, Father. I want that blessing. You're going to have to forgive me. No, he ain't, family. He ain't going to forgive you for them damn sins if you just keep on doing it. I don't know where y'all got that from. Just keep on sinning. Keep on sinning. Just forgive. Just He going to No, family. <laughs> it don't work like that. <laughs> if I came up to you and punched you in your face and you healed, but you had a black eye, would you expect me to punch you in your other face and then for you to feel, for me to feel sorry for you? You wouldn't even give me that pleasure. So why do people think God is giving them that much damn leniency? I don't, I don't understand that. Faking on that, messing with that fake Jesus. Messing with that fake phony Jesus got these people trapped up. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, now. Okay, now. But asking God for a blessing. They don't even understand that when we, when we sin, God will turn his back on us. So there is no way he can even hear us because he does not want to be reminded of our sin evil. But they pray and they sin and they still expect something from God. They, they, I don't get it, family. They still expect something from God. They over there sinning, giving in. You know your cousins and them. You know the evil they do on the weekend. You know all the righteous stuff they be doing, family. All up in that house, all up on the street, all up in the club, all down the street, family. You know all the stuff they're doing, but they still expecting God to give them a blessing. Where is the hypocrisy in that, family? Where is the, the, the I'm going to use my brain and I'm going to think. They don't even have it, family. They don't even have it. It's a damn shame, family. Be expecting God to bless them, but they not expecting to stop their damn sin. It is a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame. Okay, now... Okay, pray and sin, and they still be expecting something from God. I just, I don't understand that. Okay, stand on faith. See his existence, what you ask for God in real reality, not just in the back of your mind. So you got to see whatever you, whatever you ask him for, you have to see it in this reality. Or it is not going to happen. We don't have to bring Yahshua out here because he's going to tell you the same thing like I just told you right now, but I put it in my words. He said it so many times. Don't be asking if you ain't got no faith. Yo, brother, I'm telling you, if you can't see it, don't even ask for it. If you can't see it, if you can't see that mansion, don't ask for it. If you can't see that beautiful wife that God promised you, don't be asking for it. If you can't see that 2018 Honda Accord sitting on them doves, player, don't be asking for it. Sister, sister, if you can't see that new job, don't be wasting your time. Don't ask God for it. You'll be wasting your damn time. Okay, now, put some faith behind it. Visualize. Put faith in it, family. When, when I, okay, let, 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 let's, throw, let's throw your brother Jehoshaphat under the father, under the fire. Now, when I visualize this woman that God blesses me with, I see a virtuous woman in all aspects and all natures of her very being, family. Of the woman that she is, is a woman of God's heart, of God's mind, of God's truth, family. This is the woman that I see. I see all of this wonderful, magnificent stuff radiating, radiating off of all the goodness that God put on her, all the virtues that God put inside of her that I need in my life. I see it, family. I'm not going to sit here and settle for some scally rag. I'm not going to sit here and study for no skank, family. I'm not going to study for third best or second best. I want the best family and only God has it. So I visualize this magnificent woman that God has put on my mind to visualize of what I need in my life down to a T family from the tippy top of her head to the bottom of my feet. I, I, 
I visualize all these things to receive this blessing. Now, if I got to do all this, family, what do you got to do? And I'm being righteous up over here. You, you can listen to all them other people lying to you all day long. Your brother is being, I'm fighting to be righteous up over here. And this is what I visualize from the woman that God will bless me with, given this time, given this season. Because we also, we also have to wait. It ain't going to fall from the heavens overnight, family. God going to want us to see us put in that great work. He going to want us to see us put in that effort. Yes, he does. Okay, now. Damn, we ain't even going to get through a page on this, family. Word, I got three more pages for y'all, family. I really do. I'm just starting up. Y'all know how your brother is. I don't see you got all these YouTubers that all day long, they be sitting up there talking about other YouTubers, but they ain't got nothing really to talk about. They ain't working for the father. They ain't even trying to tell you about world events. They, the only thing they talk about is other black YouTubers because they don't have a life and they ain't got nothing to talk about. Anything they, they talk about is, is controversial. It, it's nothing that's going to lift you up. The things that I say that I put in you today will last you a lifetime and will bless everybody that you infect with this love. Why are they not doing that, family? Why are they so much worried about the next YouTuber and what they doing? Why they can't do their own thing? It's like they don't have... Look at all the people who talk smack on me. That's all they do, family. That's all. What is Jehovah doing? What is he saying? You can't say that. You can't do this. You can't... Why are they so infatuated with me? Won't they do their own damn thing? I'm not worried about no YouTubers. I'm worried about what God is putting before me. I'm worried about what God got to say for me. I'm worried about what God wants me to do for him. I thank God for letting me be able to operate on this channel and bring heavenly messages to my brothers and sisters out there. But so many different people would want to stop that and hate on that. But I'm just saying to you, why they sitting up over there hating on all of us? They need to be doing their own damn thing. That should tell you about them because I don't have time to sit up here and talk about him and her and them and these and this. I got some good things to put inside of your heart about your life. I want to put some goodness up in you. I want to give you something to grow on. They want to give you something that's going to tear you down. But they got more than a mouth words to speak about me. I'm listening, you haters. Don't think I'm not watching. Okay, now. Okay, now, is no no way he can hear them. There ain't no way he can hear them because he does not even want to be reminded of their sin evil. But they pray and sin and still expect something from God. Stand on faith. See, see it happen in, in, in this existence with you asking from God in real reality, not just in the back of your mind or some talk. Believe in, and you will receive in due season. Believe and you will receive in due season. In due season, family. Be in joyous of spirits, family. Be grateful to your father for the things that you asked him for, as in you being receiving it, family. Okay, move to the next one. Don't be mad at God when he gives someone that you don't like or feel feel they are not worthy, um, good enough. God knows they are. And don't be mad at them. He, he sees something that in that person that you don't don't be mad at who God picks they might even end up helping you out in in a jam God is not a respecter of man or woman he chooses anyone that he feels don't be hating family don't be hating God chose that you might not like that brother you might not like him y'all even must have had hard words you know his past you know he's scandalous sister sister she bad she bad, but she ain't bad no more because God picked that woman. God is trying to dust her off and make her clean. Now what? You think you God now. You think you God because you seen where they come from. You don't think God could take somebody that is a complete reckless and turn them into somebody who is righteous? Who are you? Who are you? Are you the most high? No, you are not. So when God takes these people that you know and he dusts them off and he cleans them up and he makes them worthy, just because you don't think that they're worthy don't mean that God don't see some potential in them, family. Just because God will sit there and take somebody from rags to riches and bless them in abundance, you cannot hate on them for that. You can't hate on who God picks. You cannot, family. I see so many different people and they will hate on God's choice. Oh, God, I got to be mad at God because I've been doing this for the most high. I've been on the grind doing this for all these years and he going to pick that person. It's the reason why he picked that person, family. You can't be mad at that. And the saddest thing is, is that 
that person that he picked over you, one day he going to use that person to help you, family. I wouldn't even be surprised if, if that person that's on that level now that God's helping, if they didn't even learn from you, you must have put something in them too for them to add. Don't think that they got all of that by themselves, brother. You know what I'm saying? They, sister, they done did a whole 365 degree. They changing now, family. They changing their evil ways. You can't be mad at God for God picking them, God dusting them off, God making them clean, God trusting in them, God trying to build them up, God taking them from rags to riches. You can't be mad at that. You just got to understand that your father operates on his own accord for his own mission. I just seen God take people from dirt, family, take them from dirt, make them clean, and they still lose it, family. I mean that, family. I, I just seen God take a person, wipe them off clean, family, give them the finest things in this world, and that person still loses it, family. God picked them, chose them, everything, lifted them all the way up to Mount Zion, family, and they still lost it all, family. They still lost it, family. So you can't even get mad at whoever God's picked because it's a reason why he picks those individuals and somewhere down in the line, he could even use that person to help you out when you get jammed up, family. When you when you when you get up in a jammy and you in a jam, family, you up in a jammy real. You I mean, you up against the wall up over there, sister. Just know that God will still use that same person that you. Oh, I, I think I'm better than that person. God can't pick who he God going to pick whoever the hell he want to pick. And ain't a damn thing that you or me or them or they can do about it. So all you can do is be in agreement with it, family. You can't be mad at that. You OK. I understand. You know, sister, that she was foul. She was ratchet. She was funky. But God turned her life around. God turned, God made her clean. God dipped her in that water. God gave her a resurrection. God gave her a baptism. And that is a new child, sister. That is a new child. Even though you don't believe it, don't mean that God don't believe it. And God is working in that person to make them change. Look how much they changed, brother. He ain't even the same ratchet brother he was before. Look at how ratchet he was. He was funky. He was straight funky and he was stank, brother. You know that. You know that. You grew up with him. He still owe you five damn dollars. He came and paid you back back when he got some get right. He did that. But you remember. You remember how he was. And God chose him. God picked him up. God dusted him off. God made him clean. It's a reason for that. We can't be mad. We can't be mad at our father's choices now, family. Okay, last one before I get cut off by this machine. And I'm just going to come back with it on the next show. Is this the same one? Nope, this ain't even the same page. What is that page? Is it this one right here? I better hurry up before my time. I got two minutes to say it. No, that's not even it either. What is, what is it? Hold on now. You ask things, but they don't. You see, okay, last one on this paper. Now, Jesus wants all of us. Okay, now, Jesus wants all of us to show compassion in the world. That is our heart. To people who don't have any love, you who, who have don't have no love, matter what. So let me stop real quick. God wants you to show compassion and love out in this world, family. It doesn't matter if you're dealing with these evil, nasty ass people. Yeah, I said it. Evil, nasty ass, wicked, demonic, satanic ass people. I said it. Now, even though they they funky and they ratchet and they stink to the high heavens, fam, God still wants you to be kind to these people. Just because they could be evil, don't mean you gotta let they evil be up on you, family. I ain't gonna have enough time. I'm going to have to come back tonight with the show. Your brother, I tried, family. I'm really trying, but you see that principalities is stopping your brother. Now, support your brother Jehoshaphat. Support. Support your local fat boy fish. Support your local Jehoshaphat in this channel. Now, we'll be back tonight. Hopefully sooner than an expected peace and blessings be upon you all in Yeshua precious name for he is the Lord. All glory give it to the most high Yah. Make sure you come get yourself some of these good nine o'clock prayer hours to be in assembly with your brothers and your sisters who love God the way that you do. And come magnify, edify, and glorify your father on it on this on this holy hour. This is a holy hour that we done put forth, family. It is a holy hour, family. Come get yourself on this. You know what I'm saying? Come get yourself some of this. Peace and blessings be upon you all. In Yeshua precious name, for he is the Lord. All glory given to the most high Yah, for he is worthy, family. I'm so happy that he let me in. I'm so happy that he woke me up this morning. I'm so happy that he gave me life. Peace and blessings.